right. That tweet was very alarming and we got reaction from the state attorney's office today and they tell us that we're in the middle of a crisis. Your reaction to the tweet from the Emmy's office. Wow. This is a tweet Chief Assistant State Attorney Alan Johnson is referring to. It was sent Friday morning from the Palm Beach County Medical Examiner's Office. It states, thought there was a slowing down, but we have 10 drug overdose deaths today. Must be a bad batch of drug out there. You've been warned. Is there any doubt that we are in the midst of an opioid epidemic? Uh, the 10 in one day is, is awful. Johnson admits the ME's office still has to wait for toxicology reports, but the initial assessment is telling. The number of drug overdose deaths continues to grow across the state, especially right here in South Florida. I spoke with the medical examiner just yesterday. He's still counting December, and we had 588 deaths in 2016. In 2015, there were 307. It's almost double the amount. This is a crisis. Johnson says there is legislation before the Florida legislature, House Bill 807 and Senate Bill 788, that will address the problem. He says people need to contact lawmakers to have them support the bills. There has to be um, a fundamental shift in how we view people who have a substance use disorder and how, uh, and how we support uh, uh, um, sobriety and, uh, and, not, uh, and not encourage uh, relapse. And as experts continue to search for solutions, the problem continues to change so many lives. More on that coming up at 6.